Hey everyone, Big Pooley back for a brand new video. Uh, back for a movie review as sort of. Uh, I've seen this film a hundred times before. I don't need to review the film itself. What I'm reviewing is the actual Blu-ray. Now, two of the most requested Blu-rays in the world are The Abyss and True Lies. No official uh, Blu-ray release for this yet. This was actually purchased from Amazon in Spain. Uh, it came with the original cover, as you can see there, all the Spanish writing. And I got Richard Hollyoak on the Big Paulie Chatting Movies uh, Facebook page to do me up a really nice English sleeve for it. So yeah, going to have a look at this film. Uh, I'm mainly going to be reviewing the technical aspects of it and the look of it. What's the picture quality like? What's the sound quality? Because it's supposed to be DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. Do we get any extras? What are the menus like? That sort of thing. So yeah, I get a good look at this. It's not a official 20th Century Fox release. Uh, and I was quite surprised that a, a large company like Amazon were actually stocking it as their main stock. You know, it wasn't a third party seller. It was sold by Amazon in Spain. So uh, let's uh, take the old disc out, put it in the player and let's have a look at True Lies. OK, so as I said, this was the original cover that came with it. It's a professionally designed and uh, printed cover. It doesn't feel any different from any other Blu-ray uh, slip. Uh, we have the uh, the Spanish title on there. The back, all really nice, all official looking. Uh, it does actually say that we have got extras on here, as you can see. But uh, we'll go through them on the, on the menu. Uh, full HD 1080p and then it's got the uh, the soundtracks there and any subtitles so that's the um, that's the official uh, sleeve that comes with it and as I said Richard was able to do uh, a really nice true lies English uh, slip for it um, inlay sleeve a bit different from the uh, the Spanish one but it's got all the stuff that we need on there so let's have a look see what we've got inside Unfortunately, uh, with doing the cover in English, there's nothing that you can do about the disc. So it has the Spanish title on there. But uh, I do like the design of it. It looks professionally printed. It's even got the uh, the logo and everything going around it. So let's uh, take it to the menu. OK, so upon putting the disc in, we get a nice uh, action piece on here from the film. And as you can see down the bottom there, we've got the options, various options. Uh, in Spanish, unfortunately, uh, there's the extras. So the, it comes up with the extras, the making of, feature it, uh, teaser trailer, TV spot. So that's pretty good. Uh, that is the scene. So we have a really good scene menu. So, so far, this is looking really professional, really professionally done. Um, let's go down again and we go to that one. And we can select the audio. And as you can see, uh, we've got uh, the Spanish. Uh, we've got 2.0 there as well. Plus we have English. So we choose that one. And then uh, start, start the film. So we have the 20th Century Fox logo coming up. It's looking good, actually. Looking really good. Uh, and down on the receiver, DTS HD Master Audio. And checking through uh, the Den and Amp is coming up there, DTS HD Master Audio Neuro X, with all, uh, all the speakers active. <laughs> Punching, lots of bass and surrounds. Let's get some. 
God, that's a great plane. This is why Arnie is the greatest action hero in the world. Yay! It's Faith from Buffy! Come on, child! You don't want to die, do you? Give me the key! And you won't get hurt! The base on this is ridiculous! It's just... Okay, I've got to say it, it's certainly the best it's ever looked and the best it's ever sounded. Never heard true lies like that. So yes, the film is one of the best action films of all time. Uh, Arnie is definitely the best action hero of all time, in my opinion. And James Cameron just directs the crap out of this film. So yes, 10 out of 10 for the film. Uh, never anything less. As far as the sound and the picture, well, the picture quality... Um, it's an unofficial 20th Century Fox release, but it's better than a lot of Blu-rays that I've purchased from the from HMV or anywhere. The picture quality is really, really good. Uh, yes, not quite Blu-ray standard, but HD. Uh, it must have come from maybe uh, an HD broadcaster. I really don't know. But um, it's one of the best looking versions of this film. Probably the best looking version of this film I've seen. The colours are vibrant. It's nice and bright. There may not be 100% uh, detail, but a lot of the night scenes are fantastic. The night scenes, you would just think it was a regular Blu-ray. There's no blocking. There's no distortion. Um, as for the sound, DTS HD Master Audio... It was loud, the dialogue was loud. There's a hell of a lot of use of the bass, especially on explosions and gunfire. The surrounds really surprised me. I didn't think the surrounds would be that fantastic. You've got gunfire all the way around you, shouting in the background from going from left to right. It's, it's a brilliant DTS HD Master Audio soundtrack. Um, I'm not going to say it's one of the best because... Um, in a proper studio with proper mixing, it would sound even better. But I've certainly never heard this film like this before. And even the soundtrack on this uh, is a lot better than many Blu-rays that I've bought. Not being properly mixed, you know, with James Cameron overseeing it, um, it does suffer slightly with some of the dialogue towards the end when the Harrier jet is overpowering the dialogue. So... You don't quite hear what uh, Harry's daughter uh, and he, he is saying when he's in bo on board the Harrier. But you know what he's saying because you know the film. Now, I hope that they do come out with similar quality items that we're still waiting for on Blu-ray. Uh, certainly the Abyss. I'd be very happy if they released the Abyss. Uh, and even M. Night Shyamalan's The Village, because I actually don't have that one on Blu-ray. Hopefully one day we will get a proper James Cameron transfer, probably 4K with Dolby Atmos or DTS-X uh, soundtrack, and that will be that will be a day to remember. Um, but uh, having this copy in my collection, I'm really happy. I'm pretty happy I spent £12-£13 to import this, because... Uh, Never looked or sounded so good before. So there we go. There is my review of the Spanish release of True Lies. As I say, it's not an official release, uh, but uh, it's the best that we're going to get. So hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I shall see you all on the next video. Bye.